Hey everybody, guess what time it is? Must be 10 o'clock, cause here I am. Got a video for you. We are still in the final countdown to celebration ending. <clears throat> it is going to end on Sunday, February 28th, everybody. So I have been here every day showing some of my favorite celebration items as we get ready to say goodbye. So real quick little housekeeping. Everybody, if you're out there, come on in. Give me a like or a love. Let me know that you're here. Uh, there will be Prize Patrol friends, so make sure that you are liking and commenting and sharing with your friends because your name is going to be entered to win the projects that I'm making all this week. So as always, you can hop over to Jody .net. That's my online store. You can use the host code at checkout if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, that means you are a host and you are going to get free Stampin' Rewards. So don't use the host code if you've got a $150 order. So don't forget, during celebration, every $50 and $100 purchase earns you an item for free out of our... Oh, so sorry out of our little uh, mini, stop, there we go, out of our little celebration mini. So we've got all kinds of gorgeous papers and fun stamp sets that you can choose as your free items depending on what your order is. So I love this paper, love it. And I also love this, we'll be playing with this in a couple days. All right, my friends, so I know what you're here for. I know that you're here for some stamping fun and I am excited because we're gonna play with the donks. We are gonna play with the darling donkeys and they are so, so cute. I'm gonna miss these little fun guys. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got, I've got two fun cards I wanna share with you today. And we are going to focus on my favorite thing, the blends. So I know you guys watch me color a lot, but that's probably the most often asked question is how do you use the Stampin' Blends? And so I am here. I aim to please, friends. I want to show you how to use those blends because they are fantastic. And some of you guys tell me that you're scared of them, that you don't really know what to do with them or how to use them. And so hopefully I am here to share a little bit. So we've got a piece of crumb cake cardstock here. It's eight and a half by five and a half. I'll just fold that right in half. Then I've got a piece of early espresso, five and a quarter by four. I did grab myself a piece of designer series paper. This is from our brand new designer series paper stack. This is the neutral pack. So all of these papers are brand new. You cannot get them until the next annual catalog. So these were part of our, these are part of our join special during celebration. You can get all five of these packs of paper. Can you believe it, you guys? So we talked about this on Tuesday that we've got that special going on that you can get all of those papers for free. You can get your continual discount of 20% every single time you order. Free shipping, free paper pumpkin, and the kit is $99 and you get to pick $125 of product. So time is running out, my friends. If you've been sitting on the fence saying, I need to get some items off my wish list, join special, the, the starter kit is your best value. So I did grab a piece, this is cinnamon cider. I do not know what size it is, and I don't have a measuring stick here, so I don't know. But um, it is really pretty, so that's what I'll tell you about that. There's the other side, which I kind of like that too, but I cut, I did cut thinking I'd use that side. We can decide, we can decide. I've got my giant mess of twine here and I'm gonna cut a couple pieces. So I'm just gonna cut two pieces of our linen thread. And let's go ahead and attach, hmm, I'm gonna go with this side. I think I like it. We're gonna attach that to that early espresso piece. So we can do that a while and then we'll wrap our designer paper around it. Or not, well, not our paper. We will wrap our linen thread around it. Oh, help me, Rhonda, it's been a long week. All right, little, go run some adhesive across here so we'll be ready for our thread. And sometimes this thread, oh my goodness, look how dry my hands are, eek. 
So sorry, you guys, that you have to look at my nasty hands. They are so dry. All that hand sanitizer and this dry air in my house, it gets to me. All right, so we're just gonna tack that around the back side. There we go. Any extra, I can cut that off. And let's go ahead, we'll put some more adhesive. I always like to stick some adhesive right on top of the twine so it doesn't come flying off. And we can add this to our card base. So ahead of time, I cut out a, oh my gosh, guess what I didn't do? I didn't bring any donkeys. They're still in their, they're still in their barn. Um, I cut out a rectangle stitched no, a stitched square. <laughs> There's no rectangle. Let me get my blocks, hold on. My apologies, everyone. I thought I was a little bit more pre prepared today, but obviously I am not. So I wanna get a jumping donkey, and we need a hey there friend. We're gonna need an It's Your Birthday. And probably Hee Haw. Yeah, we definitely want a Hee Haw. So I'm gonna use this block. We'll use it twice. All right, so on our stitched square, we are going to ink up this kicking donkey here in memento because we use memento when we want to color with our blends sometimes i do use basic gray as well and i have used navy i've used a couple other of our inks you just have to be really really careful that because they have a tendency to want to bleed so we're going to stamp his hee-haw up top right here and then we're gonna stamp It's Your Birthday on this little square I got going on down here. There we are. So that's it for our stamping. The next step is gonna be some coloring. So I pulled in cinnamon cider and I want my crumb cakes. These don't have labels on, they must be new. I like to put my, my little, get my little label maker out and make some cool labels because I think it's a little bit easier to see. So I'm just gonna color him dark, dark crumb cake. Right over his top of his badonkadonk there. Anywhere that there might be sun, some shading, I'll put in the dark, especially on his belly. There we go. Now with the cinnamon, I'm gonna do his tail and his hooves, his mane, and his little crazy mohawk there. And I'll also, let's do his nose. So I've got cinnamon cider light here, is what I'm using. There we go. So then I can grab the crumb cake light and go in and just do the rest of my coloring. So anywhere that I put that dark ink, I'm just gonna really go over top of it and kind of start to blend it in with the light ink. That's the trick of blends. So I always like to lay my dark down first. You guys have been hanging out with me for a while. You know how I work. I like the dark first and then I like to go in and color over top. Cause you can always go back and you can add more. It's hard to take it away. You've got the color lifter but that's just for, for a kind of blending. It doesn't mean that it's gonna totally remove, remove any color.
This little guy is so cute. There we go. So sometimes you might look at something and think that it's coming out a little darker than what you had wanted. And I suggest you walk away. Just take a step back, let it actually dry a little bit because it does take some time to dry into the cardstock and come back and see how it looks a little bit later. So we're gonna add these with our dimensionals. A couple little pop, pop dots there in the corners. Stick him down there. And then I have a dimensional just to put on the side. A little adhesive right here, maybe. There we go, just a smidgy. And that's gonna just sit right here. I'm gonna, do I need to cut a little bit extra off? I don't wanna cover up his foot. I am, I'm gonna just trim a little bit off. Right there, it's just a little bit too long. There we go. So our final step is to just put a pop of color in. So I grabbed the resin hearts from the snails. I've been loving these little hearts. And we're just gonna put a couple of those by his hee haul. There we go. Look at him. Isn't he adorable? All right, let's add a bow or a linen, since we've got the thread and it's a hot mess here. It fell off my spool. Go ahead, and I'm gonna cut two pieces, maybe. There's one. I see the end. I saw the end. There you are. Come now. So you could tie a bow, totally tie a bow. You know, I told you I, I am a fan of bows, but with the linen thread, it doesn't get real thick. And so sometimes I do like to tie, or knot, sorry, that's what I meant. You can tie a knot. I'm gonna do a bow this time because it's not very thick. So don't forget guys, I'm giving away everything I'm making this week. So make sure you like, love, comment, and share my videos. You also wanna make sure that you are subscribing to my YouTube channel, so that way you know when I've got movies dropping, when I drop my movie, or uh, follow my Facebook page so that you always are in the know and you know what's going on. There we are. Cutie patootie, right? You hee-haw, it's your birthday. All right, love him. Okay, so I have one more card that I wanna share with you. This time we're using two cool colors here. We've got gray granite. So we're gonna, I'm running out of light here, I can tell. Um, we're gonna fold this in half for our card base. got some whisper white here we can go ahead and attach that to our card base I'm gonna have to run and pick something up again I see what I forgot forgot my die cut and we need to make a heart there's some that's in the paper that's not for me all right we got our cutie little donkey here so we're gonna grab the guy that's holding the rose in his mouth Will he fit on? I can make him fit on that block. Yep, sure can. So we're gonna ink him up in Memento because we're gonna give him some color. And he's just getting stamped on a scrap piece of white because he's gonna get fussy cut. We do not have dyes for our donkeys. I know, it's sad but true. So up here in the corner, I'm just gonna type, I'm gonna type, I'm gonna stamp, hey there, friend. And then while I'm here, I have a little strip of gray granite. It's a very, very thin little strip. And I gotta share some blocks here. 
I have You're the Best. So on this little strip, that's what I'm going to stamp. And I'm going to have it go this way. There we are. Hey friend, you are the best. Now I have a couple things I'm missing, so I got to skedaddle for a sec. Okay, so this is the set of dies that I have. And I don't remember its name. It goes with the meant to be stamp set, but it's got all kinds of cool little hearts. And so I grabbed this one right here and we're gonna run a piece of Just Jade through. I have, will the baby work? He might. I don't think it's too, yep. All right, baby. It's your time to shine. So I've got plate one, I've got a plate two, I've got my paper and my die. Another plate two, and a crank and we go. Good work, kiddo. You guys have a baby boss yet? Oh, I love him. He just sits up on my shelf and he's ready to work anytime I need him. He's a good little feller. Alrighty, so we'll put that back so we don't lose it. And I also have this little banner punch here and I'm gonna do a little, just slide that little strip in there and I might need to cut, I might need to punch it a couple times because I may have made that longer than I need to. Mm, no, I think it's good. I think I'm gonna go with it. So let me go ahead and put my heart on. And I'm just gonna do it a little sideways here. And then we'll have to do some die cutting. I lied. Why do I keep saying the wrong words? We're not die cutting. We are going to blend. So I've got my Just Jade. That is going to be his rose. So that's the little stem in his mouth. I've got some real red. That's going to be the rose. And this donkey is going to be white. So I can leave him white, but if you were on yesterday, you saw how I made a white chicken. And basically it still stays white. I've got some petal pink here, I'm doing his ears. He's still gonna be white, but he's gonna have a little bit of color. So I've got some smoky slate here and I'm gonna color, eh, let's go with dark. I'm gonna do his little forelock here in dark, his mohawk his feet and his tail are gonna be in dark smoky slate. There we are. So the next step, I'm gonna take light and I'm gonna color his little, sh little snuggle right here. That's what my daughter always called our dogs long pointy nose. She always called it her snuggle. So we're gonna color that. Then I'm just gonna do a little bit of color here. His little ear tips. And just a light trace. A light trace around his face. Onto his legs under his little belly. And this is all done with the light smoky slate, okay? Then the color lifter, that is the key to this. And we're just gonna come in with the color lifter and just bleed anywhere I put that light smoky slate. So he's still gonna look white 
but he's just gonna have some shading which just makes him not look quite as plain. It's probably one of my favorite techniques uh, aside from outlining something so if you have like an animal or a chicken or you know whatever you've stamped and you're not cutting it out he's going to get cut out uh, but what you can do is outline it in light pool party and then you just go around with the color lifter and just bleed that pool party and it looks like it's got a nice shadow the side or behind it it's very cool this helps give a little texture and dimension. So there's our basically white donkey. Now comes the tedious and painful part of watching me fussy cut him out because there is no fast forward. So I don't mind fussy cutting, it's not hateful, but if I didn't have these snips, let me tell ya, things would be a lot worse. And my nose is going to start to run. I hope you guys have enjoyed joining me every day. I It's a lot of work to be able to get everything ready to do videos every single day. But I sure do love it. I love coming and spending time with all my phone friends and hanging out with you guys and seeing who comes on and checking in and saying hello. So I sure do appreciate your support and you coming and hanging out with me as well. It makes my days go so much better because it's almost a year, guys. It's been almost a year since we've been dealing with this situation and I've been very sequestered. I've been very careful and I'm not having people in my studio yet, and I sure do miss my stampers. But hopefully things are kind of wrapping up here and looking a little bit better. So I'm going to um, open a little bit here and there, still being cautious, but have some of my stampers come back in the studio in April because I know lots of them miss getting together and making cards with each other. But thank goodness I came online so that I could see you guys because otherwise I might have been a little bit nuts if I was here in my studio by myself all the time. Alrighty, there we go, donkey. I am not gonna fussy cut up between his back legs. They just are, they, they are just gonna stay that way, I think. We'll see how I feel when I'm done here. I might have to. There you go, little buddy. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother. All right, so what happened to my little strip? I wanna put my little strip on here that says you the best. So we're just gonna put that right across here. And some dimensionals on my little guy. Where are my little ones? These little ones come perfect for down near his little feet. They are just the perfect size. And up in his ears, I think one more right there. All right, so now we're ready to put him on our card. He's just gonna kinda hang out right here. Isn't that cute? And finally, he needs some hearts too. So we're gonna put a little heart here at you're the best. And then we'll do some at hey friend. There we are. Yay! So we have two really sweet little donkey cards. They are darling. So let me show you a couple other cards I've created. Some of them you may have seen because I did them maybe on a movie Monday or a previous video.
here's one I did with my stamp club. So I used the Flower and Field Designer Series paper and that we got that little guy, little gray donkey going on there. Then this was a series that I had done using the ombre paper with our darling friends. So we had a Bermuda Bay, we had a Granny Apple Green, we had a Blackberry Bliss, and we had a Rococo Rose. Then I did this one. This was just this week's Movie Monday. We did our, our little sit and Eeyore here, again with the flower and fields. And then I also did this birthday guy and just gave him a little glimmery balloon there. So thank you so much for joining me, everyone. I hope you are enjoying this week. We still are not done yet. So I hope you will come back and visit me tomorrow at 10 a.m. as well. Have a great day, you guys.